Okay, now my goal is to make a gradient of, of my gray from, from light to dark, right? So I'm gonna have to mix my gray. Uh, in this case, my blue is still a little bit fresh. Uh, so if it's fresh, uh, then I can actually work with it. You can mix the, try to mix the same color that you made the previous day, but if you can't, just make more enough so that you can cover everything. So what I want is for this cast of shadow to fade into the uh, the light blue. So I need to make some fresh light blue. Keeping in mind, I might have to paint the whole thing, right? So I'm gonna add some fresh blue out here. Then I'm gonna quickly wipe my brush. and. Blending is about being aware of what's on the brush. What's on the brush right now is that light blue color. And then I'm gonna get my dark blue color that I made. And it should be on the tip of my brush, right? And the backside, I can use to let it like fade. So that it looks like my shadow's fading. And then if you notice, uh, it's not dark enough here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna dip the tip of the brush into the dark paint and put some of that dark again, just so it looks like there's a transition. Uh, one pointer is about this. One thing about this paint, I'm gonna dab it just to make it a little painterly. Um, the paint dries darker, like as it dries, it it gets darker basically now professional paint really doesn't do that so your idea is to kind of feather let me zoom in is to kind of feather out so how did i blend it i i had that lighter color back here on my brush and on the tip of my brush i had the darker color so i kind of laid it down and pressed it to help blend that's all i did Okay, here we are. Now, uh, what we've done is we've, we've faded here. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, uh, paint the sphere. So I'm gonna get a round brush this time. Here's my round brush. And I need more red. If you notice on the palette, the red is kind of muddied up. So I think I'm gonna grab some fresh red. And then I'm gonna grab some fresh white. So notice how I'm getting fresh red. I'm gonna need some fresh white. You need your paint to be fresh. Otherwise it's not gonna blend because you can't move dried out paint. So if you remember last time to make the paint more opaque, I added a little white so the, the ball came out or sphere came out uh, uh, less intense. It came out kind of pinky pinkish looking right so now I have fresh red on the whole ball right notice the business end of the brush if you the, the point of the brush is where you can make clean edges the backs the back half of the brush is where you blend so now I have a lot of red on my brush yeah remember blending is about being aware of what's on your brush so I'm gonna dip it into the white I have a little bit of white here, so I'm gonna grab it from the corner. And I'm gonna make a little highlight away opposite end from the shadow. There's my highlight. I need overall the whole thing to be um, uh, light. So I, I'll probably end up painting over that. So there's a lot of red on my brush and a little bit of white. So I'm gonna lay it down sideways and make one half of my sphere highlight. See how I'm laying the brush down? So I'm actually using the length of the brush, the back side of the brush, if you will, to feather and blend. I could go all the way around with that. Now, I'm not satisfied. I don't think it's enough white. So I'm gonna add some more white to my brush. Keep in mind it has a lot of red on it. Yeah, so I'm gonna add more white. Oops, picked up a little blue. 
and I'm gonna do it again. So I got white in the tip, red halfway. So I'm gonna do the tip, highlight it again, and use the length of the brush to feather. That's gonna save me a lot of work. Remember, it's all about being aware of what is on the brush. It looks like I need more white. So I'm gonna grab more white. There's more white. Don't be afraid of grabbing enough white. And I'm gonna paint a lot of white here, but I'm gonna leave it on the tip. While I'm painting, I'm leaving the brush on the tip or the white on the tip of my brush. Try not to blend it halfway down on my brush. So I'm gonna flatten my brush and it's gonna help me blend really nicely. See how that works? I can get a little highlight going all the way around if I wanted to. My mouse fell down. Now I had to clean my brush, so I'm gonna have to dip it in the red. And then I'm gonna add red. If I wanted to, I could put a little blue here. Um, it, rem, keep one thing in mind, the red's kind of transparent. If you find, if you find yourself moving too much uh, dark red into your, your light red, then wipe your brush, okay? Now, the, the last thing I need, it's kind of shiny, so you can't tell, but the last thing I need is to get a little tip of white on my brush. There's my brush, a little tip of white. Now, let's put a highlight right here. Right now, I feel like I'm digging in. The only problem with the, the uh the round brush, if they're too sharp, they end up digging in and removing the paint that from underneath and it starts to blend. And there's my highlight. So my highlight is pink. So I'll probably have to let it dry before I get some more white on there. And anyway, that's how you do great gradations.